Hello and welcome to Toneless Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, also known as AKA Michael Francis McCarthy. I am a painter and uh, uh, those of you that have been uh, following my YouTube channel or my blog would be well aware of that. Uh, this is getting to be quite a few that I've posted on YouTube and uh, I know some of you must be getting something out of it. Some of my videos have quite a few hits, and uh, as do uh, several of the blog posts that correspond to it. Um, anyway, today's uh, it's just a study, and there will be no larger size painting because uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But the title of this piece is Forest Trail, and it is a five by seven. Uh, I guess we could just call it a painting because. Uh, uh, while I prepared this as a small painting uh, study for a larger piece, um, I just didn't feel it uh, when it come time to paint it larger, and uh, I don't know, I might still do that. Uh, it's had a really good reaction, a positive reaction. People in my studio that have seen this little painting really like it. Um, I think it's more just a question of... Um, uh, me questioning my ability to scale it up at this time is a lot of these uh, verticals in there and you know it's a very interesting phenomenon sometimes the things that work out small just don't work out scaled up at least not with my skill set and uh, you know I've got my tricks and I'm a I'm a decent landscape painter I'll say I try very hard and uh, but uh, you know, I'm not infallible and I'm not perfect and uh, I can't do everything and uh, I've got lim my limitations, most of which are imposed uh, by my personality and training or lack of training or God knows what. But uh, at the end of the day, I rely on my intuition quite a lot in my work and that's what gets me through. Uh, that, of uh, course, combined with experience and as I get more experienced as a painter there are things that I'm able to do now that I was not able to accomplish you know even last year so I'm not uh, discouraged by the fact that I can't do everything miraculously um, we all have our limitations and you know embrace them I say well it looks like we took a jump in color right there from the drawing stage to where it had the background blue uh, bluish sky already laid in sorry about that uh, that happens uh, with the videotaping you know especially if you do as many paintings as I do I try and videotape every single stage uh, of every single painting uh, with the exception of course of my preparatory work in Photoshop but um, and of course prepping the board itself and other mundane details that you guys don't care about but uh, Anyway, uh, this is a scene that is actually doesn't look much like a, a New Zealand scene because you've got all these kind of basically there were redwood trees and uh, the wife and I t took a trip down to Rotorua, which is uh, the north central part of, uh, of the North Island uh, here in New Zealand, and uh, you know it's pretty it's it's like a lot of other New Zealand except it has. Uh, hot water springs and things like that, but uh, there was a park there, there was a Redwood Park, and uh, my wife and I took a walk through there, and it was very nice. Um, and this painting is uh, based on, uh, you know, I took a hundred photos or so when I was there, but a lot of them just won't work for me, because I'll be honest with you, I'm not really into these extreme verticals, like in these trees. Um, I think it works real well in this painting, I'm real happy with this little study. Uh, what can I say? I just uh, don't really feel like painting that large right now. But, uh, you know, those of you that are into these uh, vertical pine type things, uh, you know, go for it, man. You know, make it make it work for you. Yes. Anyway, uh, how's it going for me? That's what you want to know. What am I doing? Right? Well, I'm still finishing this uh, latest series of 10. Uh, we've rolled into March, which is was my hope to uh, to get a, uh, all of those done in February and I, I knew that was a bit of a, a pipe dream. I, I think uh, a lot of the reason for that is I put 
a bit more care into my finishing now. So, you know, I'm loading in another stage. Oh, I'm winding it up. I'm pretty close. I've got, uh, I did basically the ninth uh, painting in the series today. I did a second color stage. And uh, there's one left to do tomorrow, which is an interior scene of a sort of wooded area. And uh, that's going to be quite a bit of uh, work to do and a bit of a challenge. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I, I guess I saved the worst for last because I know it's going to be a lot of work. It's the kind of scene that it really looked good in the uh, study. I'm real happy with it, but you know, um, I actually I post my studies with the larger paintings, and I uh, I, I know a lot of you uh, um, don't really understand or appreciate the difference, uh, but. It's a lot easier to paint something small. I mean, just a flick of your wrist and you've, you know, got a blob of color and you've basically, you know, managed to communicate a lot about what you're trying to say. Um, of course, one could argue that the same could be said for a larger painting, especially if you're working with quite large brushes. And, you know, trust me, I'm, I'm working on that all the time. That's one of my particular challenges as a painter. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, you just got to do what you're going to do. So I've been working my way through these second color phases. Uh, today was a really good day. Yesterday was a much harder day for me. Um, and I do get a bit down sometimes, a bit discouraged when things aren't uh, going as well as I'd like. Uh, today I felt like I was in the flow and that uh, I was managing to keep a lot of what was good that was there on my first color stage. Um, and then just augment that ever so slightly, which is, you know, the more of that I can do, the better. And uh, I've, I've really been taking to heart this advice that I, I put on the blog. I forget the artist's name. He, he wrote a book. It's a Dutch name. Sorry, folks, but uh, uh, that's what you get. Uh, just go scrolling down for the first Dutch book review. It's probably about 10 posts ago. Well, this guy made a brilliant point uh, in his book and something that... Uh, will be one of those little lessons that are like a little pearl that uh, just keeps giving to you. And that was the point, is don't put anything in your painting that the painting would be okay without it being there. In other words, only put the essential things in your painting. And so if you're using this uh, as a criteria for judgment, of course, you know, this isn't exactly a brand new idea, but it's a super valuable idea and it's an idea for me whose time has totally come so uh, one of the paintings I was doing today has a lot of it's a field with a lot of rocks in it and uh, you know with my old illustrator tendencies I would have been out there delineating every single rock um, but in fact even the study actually has more rocks better delineated than my larger peach piece which for me is a 12 by 16 which is actually getting about as large as I've worked in a long time and uh, the rocks are not, you know, they're just indicated. They're just there. You feel them more than see them. And uh, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm hoping to get better at that. And, uh, you know, we don't need a rock here, rock there, rock there, rock there. We only need to get the feeling of it and, and to move on. And that's really where painting is going to be successful. And I know that. And it's good to paint from that basis. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us today. Sorry we're missing a little chunk of the uh, status of this painting, but you'll live. You, you get the idea. It's a nice little painting, and hopefully you enjoyed watching me paint it. Uh, if you want to see more of my work, go to landscapepainter.co.nz. There's a bunch of my own paintings there, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you in a few days for another video and blog post. Take good care and stay out of trouble.